Hi. Today I'm doing uh, Reza by Baden Powell. Uh, and I'm doing the version that I discovered uh, on YouTube by a singer, a Brazilian singer called Teca. And I think her version is, uh, is very, very nice. So I've adopted her chords. Huh? It's in D minor. Baden Powell. Uh, it starts, although the song is in D minor, it actually starts on uh, G minor seventh with a sort of introduction. <laughs> Do the introduction again, huh? G minor seventh, C seven nine. This is a D with an F sharp on the bass. This is a D minor ninth uh, with a funny shape, but it's a D minor ninth, especially if you play the. Okay, and then we go to. Uh, B minor seventh with a flattened fifth, something like this, but it's played like this. Then we go to an interesting chord which can be played like this, but this, it's easier to play it uh, in this shape. And this is like a B uh, flat with a six and a nine, I think. Huh? And before we end, we go on to a G7 shape. You should be able to recognize this, so it's a bit like this, but okay, you can play it like this. I'll play the introduction once more. So that's the end of the introduction. Uh, we'll start the first part of the verse. So the verse is actually in, in two parts. Huh? Or you could say there are two variations of the verse. Por amor andeja Tantusha Wema C7 
So that's the end of the first part okay, of the verse. So the second part of the verse starts in the same way, but doesn't finish in the same way. Okay, so say one more now. Bastante pra vencer Eu já sei o que vou fazer Meu Senhor, uma oração Vou cantar para ver se vai valer That was the second part. Ok? And then we get to the chorus. Laya la daya sabatana ve Maria. Laya la daya sabatana ve Maria. So this is a B minor ninth followed by a G7 uh, with a six. We've seen that before. The interesting thing is that uh, these two shapes actually shift. Uh, This is this uh, sequence that goes up here and becomes an F minor ninth followed by B flat seven six. You can also play it as a variation. You can play it down here in the shape of an F minor seventh followed by a B flat nine. And on the when I played the song, I actually, the first time I played the first part of the chorus, I played So the second part, I actually played it down here. But you can mix and match. Si e fraca oração, mil vezes cantare. Laia raia sabatana de Maria. Laia raia sabatana de Maria. Then you can do solos, you can repeat uh, the verses, etc. I only played the song once but you can actually add uh, verses and choruses as you wish. But the song ends, uh, at least the Teka version, which uh, I've taken the chords from, uh, it starts with the introduction and it ends with the same introduction in a way. Uh, Notice here I've played the G slightly differently, but once again you you have different variations of uh, that uh, that you can play. I'll just play it like this and finish on the D minor ninth. Actually, I meant to give another variation here, which is interesting, uh, and I'll play one of the introductions with that variation. So. Uh, uh, Instead of I'm playing A minor seventh, yeah, which I think is a very nice 
variation on, on that sequence. Huh? So up to you to decide which one you prefer. Huh? But both are very nice. Huh? There you are. Good luck. <laughs>